I'm Emily. Today I'm going to show you how I made this into this. I used two products on this project that I've never used before. A rust -Oleum milk paint in the color Highland Blue, which is gorgeous. And I also picked up a furniture wax from a local craft store. I've always covered my projects in a polyurethane or some sort of clear top coat, but I've never used a wax, so I figured, why not try now? And with that, here's my video tutorial. As you can see, this nightstand is pretty beat up. Lots of scratches, nicks, paint is chipped off, obviously somebody had some stickers on there. It was just in pretty rough shape. As always, the first thing I do is give it a good cleaning. This piece was particularly dirty. It had uh, just layers of dirt and spider webs on the bottom, so I cleaned top, bottom, inside, just everywhere. The goal is to have a super clean surface for the paint. I wanted to stain the top, which means I needed to get all of the paint layers off. This took a good amount of sanding, but it wasn't that bad. I started out here with uh, 80 grit sandpaper just to get through like the thick layer. At this point, I went over the top again with a 120 grit sandpaper. Here's the paint I used, Rust-Oleum Milk Paint Finish in a Highland Blue color. As you can see, I didn't spend as much time sanding the body of this nightstand. I did go over everything with a 120 grit sandpaper to smooth things out a little bit, but since I wasn't worried about seeing the wood grain, I didn't worry about getting all of the previous paint off. The can of paint says it's for decor and furniture. It says it leaves a matte finish with brushed effect, minimal prep, and bonds easily to most surfaces. And I would say that's all very accurate. I know a lot of people use milk paint for kind of that chippy, vintage look. That wasn't necessarily my goal with this piece. But I was interested in the matte finish with the texture of the brush strokes, so this worked out nicely for me. The first coat of paint is very thin. I knew immediately that I was going to have to go over it at least one more time, possibly three times, if I wanted a full thick coverage. I ended up only going over it twice, and it, and it looked the way I needed it to look. So this is me doing the second coat. I was so grateful that the weather got a little nicer so I was finally able to do some work outside. If you are interested in the chippy vintage look with milk paint, I do think this Rust-Oleum milk paint would work for that. A little sanding will definitely get you that look with this paint. I used the Minwax Jacobean stain for the top. I know a lot of people use brushes or sponge brushes when putting stain on. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I don't. This time I just used rags, put it on with a rag, and then wiped off the excess with a different rag. I let this first coat dry, and then I added a second coat to darken it up. As you'll see, the second coat really hid a lot of any imperfections, and the darker color really matched nicely with the Highland Blue paint. After the second coat of stain dried, I covered it with a Verithane water-based polyurethane, and I wanted the top to have a little bit of a shine, so I went with a semi-gloss. After this first coat dried completely, I added a second coat just for more durability and shine.
I'm no expert on furniture wax, but what I learned about it is that obviously you want to make sure your whole piece is covered to keep it protected, but you don't want to use an excess amount of furniture wax. And I found that it was easy to get globs of wax as you're brushing it on, especially around corners, edges, and crevices. So I would take a clean cloth and wipe off any excess I noticed building up as I was going along. Once you finish applying all the wax and removing any excess, you're gonna let it sit for about 24 hours. Then start buffing the wax into the furniture with a clean, soft cloth. And you don't need to be aggressive with the buffing, just use gentle motions. One thing I forgot to add to the video is the cleaning and painting of the drawer handle. I used a Rust-Oleum hammered chestnut color and I'll leave a link to that in the description below.